Good afternoon and uh, welcome everybody and thank you for being here. I know it's a hard time and maybe you are tired of the whole day. Um, I must say, first of all, that um, we are really uh, happy and really excited to present this development uh, that will change uh, definitely the way we have been using Excel Learning and Moodle until now. Okay, because it will be uh, much easier to create, modify, and publish our contents in, uh, from Excel Learning in Moodle. First of all, I'm going to present you the, the tool, Excel Learning, the project, in case uh, you don't know it uh, yet. And afterwards, Pau from Tresi Punt will uh, show you this new way of using Excel Learning and Moodle. Um, Excel Learning is a free and open source software uh, for the creation and edition of uh, educational content. It was created in New Zealand in 2007, and from 2010 onwards, the Ministry of Education of Spain took over the development um, as a collaborative project. Uh, within the ministry, uh, in TEF, uh, more specifically FEDEC, the institution I work for, um, is the coordinator of these developments with the support and the contributions of the users, uh, the users' community, and also um, regional administrations like Extremadura, with whom uh, we work very closely in the development of Excel Learning, and also other regional communities, uh, up to 11 more administration, regional administrations. Um, the materials created with Excel Learning uh, are very similar to websites. Uh, we have a navigation menu, we have uh, an area of contents where we can include text, um, media, links, documents attached. Uh, we have uh, also interactive activities, games, uh, effects in the text, etc. Uh, there are a lot of reasons to use Excel Learning for the creation of our materials, but I'm going to point out six that uh, for me are the most important. First of all, every single person in the whole world can use uh, this tool for the creation because it is free, it is open source, it is translated to up to uh, 15 languages, and it is very use to, uh, easy to use. Okay? The second one, uh, you can make, you can create accessible content, very important nowadays for the inclusion in the school. Uh, you can export your materials into different formats depending on where and how you are going to use them, like an, an LMS, like Moodle, or a website, or repositories, or even offline use. You can include metadata so that your material can be found easily in repositories. Uh, you can, this is very important for teachers, uh, I think, that, is, uh, that there are a lot, thousands of materials already created and available in the internet so that any teacher can use them and re reuse them and modify them with Excel Learning. And finally, the user's community is a, a really great community. If, you, if somebody here knows it, uh, you will agree with me in this. Uh, there are a lot of people willing to, 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 to help, and they do it really quickly. And uh, about the roadmap for, for uh, the project, uh, we have uh, currently um, a desktop application, Excel Learning, uh, that we are going to publish a new version very soon. We have also an online version that has the same, uh, the same functionalities that uh, currently it is installed in Extremadura uh, for all the teachers and also in Procomun, that is the um, official repository for open educational resources here in, in the Ministry of, uh, of Education. And we are now working in a new version online and collaborative that will come soon. So, uh, these are the developments of the tool Excel Learning, but we are also working in, in making it easier for the teachers to use the materials created with Excel Learning. For example, if a teacher wants to work with Moodle. Until now, uh, if a teacher uh, um, wants to uh, work with Excel and Moodle, 
uh, he or she would have to go through a three-step process. First of all, uh, create the materials with Excel Learning. The second one, export uh, the materials in the SCORM, IMS, or HTML. And, third of, uh, and the third one, uh, to publish them in Moodle. Okay? It is a simple way, but if you, have, if you need to change anything in your material, you have to come back to Excel Learning and start the process again. Okay? This has changed now. Now the process is as simple as pressing just one button. Pau is going to show you, Pau is the responsible for this development, so thank you for, for your work and your, uh, your team. And I hope you find it as useful as we do. Thank you. Well, thank you, Cristina. Uh, first of all, thank you to uh, give us the opportunity to, to be in that project. It's, uh, I think that this is the kind of project that we are really lucky to, to, to be involved in it. Uh, thank you also for my team, because they do the job. Um, okay, uh, what we have uh, done here is that uh, we create two uh, model plugins. Um, and I want to uh, show you uh, uh, how, they, how they work. And what does uh, these plugins bring to the community? Uh, these plugins are, you know, use um, the, the, the power uh, of Excel Learning to create contents, but we, uh, as Christina uh, says, um, we try to do the in the easy way for the teachers. And this is, uh, well, uh, we create a, a plugin that you sim uh, access simply uh, to Excel Learning. Uh, you don't need any technical expertise to, to, to work with them. You only need to install a model and, and it works. Uh, the integration is uh, uh, really, really transparent. This is, uh, here I want also say thank you to the team that are managing Excel Learning because we work uh, really uh, well together in, in collaboration. Um, it's based on Moodle standard steps, so I think that easily can be, uh, I don't know if in the core of Moodle or something like this, but it can, it can be done maybe sometimes. Um, and well, the, the best uh, you know, the thing is that you can create and edit scores inside Moodle. You have another tool, but, but you can, uh, if you are a teacher, you, for you it's the same, the same platform and we try to create the smooth user experience as possible. We create two plugins, one to uh, work with SCORM. Uh, yes, all the teachers are working, still working with SCORM, and we need to, to do it, and also in websites. We create a, a Moodle Z um, uh, resource uh, functionality. We use that functionality to use this uh, plugin. Uh, well, the technical solution is an API REST integration authenticated by, by JWT, um, easy to maintain, the code is uh, really, really clean, and it's also developing following the model rules, and it's secure, and another, again, uh, uh, the first, um, for us, the most important thing is that the, for the users are really an experience really smooth. Okay, this is a, a model test course, and then we uh, enable the edit mode, we add an activity, and we choose X uh, SCORM activity. And here we have to create an activity like you do always all the time in, in Moodle, just put the, the name. <laughs> and then you can uh, choose if you want to upload a, a package or you want to create here directly to Excel Learning. And in that example, we create with Excel Learning directly. We save and display the, the course, and then you automatically go uh, to Excel Learning and start to create your course. Uh, here you use the Excel Learning online. This is a local installation for Excel Learning, but you can use uh, other installations that are already done. And here, well, in the example, we put a title on whatever. I'm going. So here I'm adding more activities with Excel Learning. Okay, and when I finish, here I uh, press a button to the. Now, 
okay, it's just a button to publish and then uh, go to Moodle Local. You export the, the content to Moodle Local and this automatically brings you uh, inside Moodle in the, in the SCORM. And here you can go inside the, the Moodle uh, activity. This is the SCORM that you have already created inside Moodle. And here appears another button that it's edit with Excel Learning. So if you want to change anything here, you go directly to the edit uh, with Excel Learning, press, and then you are again editing your SCORM. And you can do that uh, easily and, and in a really, I don't know, uh, well, easy way no, to do. OK, here I show you how it's edited. And you go already into the type, uh, enter the, the score, and it's the, the change zone. OK. Uh, OK, I have another videos, but we don't have time. But it's uh, create a SCORM from a file to load a, a SCORM file and, and see it. And also the uh, adding settings of the, of the video. Um, well, the, the admin settings. This is also really interesting because you can uh, change and, and, and admin a lot of settings in that plugin. That If you uh, need more information, we can chat uh, maybe later or tomorrow. And one, some, I want to share you some ideas for the future. It's uh, maybe will be really interesting to uh, integrate this with a with a repository of uh, of a content to inside Moodle have access to a, a place where it's all the scorns uh, that are already done by the, the teachers in in the communities and uh, create a really collaborative uh, um, network of uh, content creators inside inside Moodle. And thank you for your, and if anybody has any questions. <laughs> we are on time or? Uh, on, time, on time enough. Okay. So great work. Um, thanks for joining oh, us and sticking time. around. Um, yeah, we've got a quick question. Adrian, can you, we can do a question. Um, but beer time is now. Feel free to come and go. Um, <laughs> sorry, but can't get between people and vice versa. Hi, um, I'm really impressed. This is this is amazing, amazing. This is something I don't know. It's revolutionary since, and also that it comes from the finance by the public sector. It's uh, it. I, I can not stop applauding. So it's <laughs> amazing, amazing, in every sense. Uh, just one technical stupid question. When you edit the SCORM in the from Moodle uh, and it goes to, to Excel Learning to edit, you are editing the SCORM file or you also are saving like an editable version uh, in Excel Learning version. You are editing directly the SCORM. Okay, so no, uh, the, the, the grades are not lost. If, if the SCORM was already graded, all you are doing is up updating the SCORM file. Yeah, yeah, you are working all the time with the same file, yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Thanks for the contribution. All right. Thanks for that. Oh. Just, just, just one thing. This is an open source project, so uh, they will give uh, the project to the community in, in a few weeks or <laughs> and if you've got any more questions or wish to watch some of the videos that we unfortunately had to skip i'm sure pa will be happy to see you at the treasure point uh booth just uh more? yeah 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 well i've said my piece so once <laughs> they're done feel free to leave I, i'm really quick uh, thank you i'm off um um, uh, what kind of possibilities uh, ha does um, Excel Learning has for, uh, for example, mathematics teachers? How easily uh, they can enter um, equa equations and do the students has the possibility to enter uh, equations uh, when they uh, solve the um, exercises? Thank you. Uh, uh, there are some uh, 
uh, interactive activities related to what you are asking for. Uh, we have um, an activity about uh, GeoGebra, GeoGebra, I don't know the GeoGebra, yeah? And there are um, some mathematics, uh, I, I can show you he, if you want now. Uh, there are quite a lot, I think four or five uh, activities uh, with mathematics.